This presentation is the first in man use of the Noble Stitch EL for closure of an atrial septal defect, an atrial septal aneurysm repair, and a patent foramen ovale closure, all performed in a single patient. The case was performed by Dr. Niles Eric Nielsen, assisted by Jacek Berenkowski and Professor Anthony Nobles. First, we identified the atrial septal defect. Here you can see a balloon through the atrial septal defect and an attempt to put a wire through the patent foramen ovale, which was not possible at this time as a result of the atrial septal aneurysm. The atrial septal defect was greater than one centimeter in diameter. An 018 wire was placed in the superior vena cava and an 032 wire through the atrial septal defect. The noble stitch EL is then advanced into the superior vena cava with the arm carrying the suture into the atrial septal defect. As viewed here on ultrasound and fluoroscopic imaging, the needle can then be deployed to capture the suture and pull it through the rim of the septal defect. The primary catheter of the noble stitch EL is then advanced through the septal defect into the left atrium and is drawn proximally till it comes in contact with the lower rim of the atrial septal defect. Applying additional tension allows us to set the bite size of the needle as it fires through and picks up the suture and pulls it through the lower rim of the atrial septal defect, which effectively repairs the atrial septal aneurysm as shown here. The quick knot is now advanced up to the atrial septal aneurysm and deployed. The polypropylene knot is shown here in the right atrium and there is nothing on the left side. Angiography confirms the closure of the atrial septal defect and ultrasonic imaging confirms the repair of this septal aneurysm. Remodeling the atrial septal aneurysm allowed the placement of an 032 wire through the patent foramen ovale. The wire is advanced through the upper pulmonary vein, giving us a track to run the noble stitch EL. A sizing balloon is placed over the 032 wire and through the PFO tunnel. The sizing balloon will allow us to determine the diameter and the length of the PFO tunnel. Additionally, we will be able to see the septum secundum and identify the margin of the septum primum as shown here by angiographic control. Next, we measure the diameter of the PFO, which is shown here to be greater than one centimeter in diameter. Using the same technique, we apply a second noble stitch EL device into the septum secundum and then the septum primum. After placing the second suture in the septum primum, the quick knot will be advanced over those sutures, drawing the septum primum into the tunnel, effectively closing the PFO with a reverse valve as shown here on ultrasonic guidance. The quick knot is now deployed, leaving only a polypropylene knot in the right atrium and nothing on the left side, which can now be confirmed through ultrasonic imaging that we have completely repaired the atrial septal aneurysm, closed the atrial septal defect, and closed the patent foramen ovale. This case demonstrates the ability of the noble stitch EL to effectively close PFOs and to be able to suture other cardiovascular structures.